mother lived alone Hello. in a small house on a hill. Yo, what up? Welcome to another episode of the Wiz Random Streak. Now, okay, I just got Tainted Forgotten, of all characters. So we do get candy characters. It's possible. Now, it has come to my attention that most of my viewers are, unsurprisingly, my immediate friends and family. And most of them don't know a whole lot about Isaac. So I'll have... This will be more like a tutorial episode. Probably should have maybe picked a character that was more beginner-friendly. So right off the bat, we'll just... You know, this is Isaac. There's a lot of characters. Many of them do different things. But for the purposes of a random streak, I'm using a third-party program to choose what random character that I'll take instead of the in-game random function to mix up both the tainted and normal characters because the game doesn't do that. You can either randomize the tainted or randomize the normal characters. I've removed a few of them that I don't want to play as because I have a limited time on planet Earth and therefore choose not to spend it playing characters that I hate. Uh, this series I'm playing with an item called The Wiz that a lot of people think really sucks. I don't think it really sucks. I don't think it's great. I think it's like mediocre. But the whole point of this is to prove to everyone that this item is not as bad as everyone says. Now, Tainted Forgotten is an unusual character. You are a soul. You can't do anything. But you can throw this corpse, this uh, bone pile, as your main form of damage. And what the Wiz did is changed it so that uh, he now does two bones off to the side of him instead of straight forward. So the Wiz, I don't think will be much of a detriment to this character specifically. It also, I think it'll just be just a boon. It just makes him like double wide. Your range of effectiveness is increased. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping for a real bomb. Look at that chest. Open that other stone chest. But that's okay. That... I'm gonna get hit. Okay, I did. That menu that you saw me open up in the first room is a mod called the rules. And all it does, all the rules that I have available, just change the first item room into... Guarantees turns it into... Um, I'm going so fast, just through the motions without explaining anything. Um, a tutorial might be very complicated. I feel like the best way for you guys to learn is just to watch. But, here it goes. <laughs> it just turns the first item room into the Wiz guarantee. Instead of me, you know, having to force myself, like, using the console or whatever, to turn the first item room into the Wiz. Uh, I'm going to go with that one instead. This mod in the top left that explains what things are is called the external item description. This is another mod. And I don't really need it. I know what everything in this game does. But if you want to pause to see, get more details about something that I didn't stop to explain, it's there for you. I use it for a couple things. There's a few items that you kind of need, like, you know, the wiki to use, like spin down dice explaining what item in order comes next when you re-roll something. Nice dodge, by the way. So this is uh, definitely uh, a situation you can find yourself in with Tainted Forgotten a lot. If you didn't properly plan how you yeet the bone pile, you'll end up that way. Cuba Meat, instead of orbiting the soul, it'll orbit the Forgotten. Same with all other familiars we might find ourselves with. Now, the second floor of a run is sort of the most important one. Okay, this is, uh... I have to be really careful here not to touch the Devil Beggar. It'll be very easy to do by throwing the Bone Pile into it and losing HP for no reason. Curse Rooms normally hurt when you enter and exit them, but with the Bone Pile, you can chuck it into for free. Flight as well. The entrance is free, but not the exit. 
So a lot of characters you might consider skipping. Now, the reason why the second floor of a run is important is because it's your first chance on the stats there. You'll notice I have a symbol of a devil at 100%. That's because we can get our first deal with the devil. Now, if you take red heart damage, you lose a big chunk of your percentage of getting your deal. It's not guaranteed that you get one. Well, it is right now. And with this character, it will be guaranteed unless if I die. Because this guy is soul hearts only. He can't possibly get red hearts. Which, on one hand, means deals will be more expensive. And um, deals will be more expensive. So you might not... This will be very difficult to use with this character. So it's probably wiser to skip it and go Angel. Uh, how does how does this work with this character? Is it always just wait? It always just shoots to the left, no matter what I do. It appears so. So Montezuma's revenge is uh okay. I. <laughs> I don't think it'll be of much use for me, this run. Okay, well, so be it. I will be taking both this one and this one. Pretty good. So what that shop item does, it, it literally is what it says. It makes chess better. And I like it. It makes chess better, especially early, especially when you got golden chests. Look at that, finally, our first bombs. Yeah, Montezuma's Revenge not being of much use, I'm afraid. High Priestess. We'll hang on to that, of course. So that's kind of like the big point, I think, to explain, is how Angel and Devil deals work. Because it's highly inadvisable when you only got limited HP to go devil deal because you probably won't be able to take one, everything that you'd like and two you know, you'll die and if you don't want to die then you probably don't want to do that now, if I took an item, I'd be left at one and a half heart now, why don't I go in there anyway, just to check if something's worth taking, well there's an argument, because they've changed in repentance, if you completely ignore the devil deal, notice that my angel deal went up to 33 Next time, it will be guaranteed to be the angel deal. And that could be quite significant. Now, you have two choices here. You can either go down the regular path or go to alt path. I think it's always worth going to downpour or dross. We got dross here. Two, because of the mirror dimension. The mirror dimension makes it possible to get another item. I got hit by the rain falling down there. It's annoying. Ooh. HP. Gotta be careful of those white fires. Even throwing the bone pile into them will turn you into the lost. Not... Not ideal. And this character can already fly, but being able to fly through the whole floor to pick up all those little collectibles that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get is good. And I don't think Downpour and Dross is really that much harder than just Caves 1. So if you're saying, oh, but it's so much more difficult, I don't I don't really think so. So that's my general game plan. Go to Downpour 2 always, and if it's a bad run, don't do the Mirror Boss. That's fine. Like this guy, I'm not remotely worried about. I will definitely be doing the Mirror version, world version of him. I find it unlikely that he will kill me. And here we go. We got a speed and range upgrade. Uh, okay. So normally this is a no-brainer revelation. We can already fly and the laser beams. You know what? Okay, there's an argument to be made to go Immaculate Heart for the damage up. Or Revelation for the giant laser beam. 
Or kind of a character that doesn't charge. I kind of want to see how it works anyway. I mean, I'm not charging Montezuma's Revenge. Anyway, one or the other. Probably not Rosary. I'm gonna, gonna throw that out there. I think... I'll, should I go with the lame answer, but probably correct, or maybe the cool guy answer? For the purposes of today, I think I'll go the cool guy answer. Now we're gonna kill this angel statue? Okay. Try to... Alright! You can shoot diagonally with revelation, so maybe it's not so bad. So, it'll probably be only useful if I get too separated from uh, him. And also with flight on the bone pile, you notice he doesn't jerk around anymore. Which isn't worse, isn't better. You just need to get used to it. Now, how did I know the secret room was there? Well, experience. That's basically just what it boils down to. The super secret room replaces the farthest dead end from the starting room. So right here, the way the game generates rooms, is this is a four-way intersection, right? Three of them were used, and then there was one more offshoot. All these other rooms, this is a, a narrow corridor. There couldn't possibly one here. There's rocks in the way here. This, this seems like an extremely likely spot. And the starting room was all the way back here. So that was almost certainly the farthest dead end from the starting room. Like this regular secret room might be there. That's, that looks like a good spot for the regular secret room. Also, maybe... Can't be here, there's enemies. There won't be stuff in the way of the secret rooms. There won't be enemies, there won't be rocks, there won't be gaps. There won't be narrow closets or corridors. Wait, I can charge up the laser beam? I got somebody? I'll try to get them to come up, come upwards and try to snipe them all? Alright, well. At least I can go retrieve my bone pile. I'll try to... Yeah, I'm definitely going to the shop now. So what you saw there for a microsecond was the Wiz showing up again. That was just natural. The other rules that I have replaces uh, the Wiz. Okay. You can see the power of uh, Mom's key coming in here. I don't know where the white fire is. Yes, I do. Here's the thing about this guy, though. He actually can enter the mirror for free. So... It's actually super duper worth coming to Dross, because you even risk the... You don't even risk the chance of dying. Really. It could be argued that going in with Holy Mantle would be best, because... You would completely block off any, uh... Any possible incidental damage that you might pick up. So totally worth... Because Holy Mantle stops the first damage that you take in every room. Okay. I gotta get an idea for how long it takes to charge this laser when he's off screen. Why did he shoot right then? I don't know. Yeah, I probably should have just taken Immaculate Heart just for the raw damage up instead of the laser beam, which will not be of much use. Okay, another great reason to come to Dross is exactly this. Normally, the reverse mirror side shop, completely worthless. However, if there's a restock machine, it's like you get two shops. Blue candle is a good item, but we don't care for much. There's a glitch if you blow up the donation machine and pause buffer, you can get two, 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 re two rerolls. Um, yep, if you perform it correctly. Uh, I'm not actually sure why that didn't work, but eh. You can get it most of the time. Your soul. I'll stick with my fly for the, the second being. And if things get... I'm actually going to stomp them. Because I'm going to leave the card behind. Cool. Mom's coin purse. Excellent. Well, getting the knife is fine. 
Like, I wouldn't mind getting the knife. The knife piece, uh, there's a, a transformation. Transformations in this game merely mean that once you get three items of a certain, like, group of items, you'll get an effect of some kind. The mom transformation gives you a little knife that follows you around. It's not particularly useful, but for this character, the knife will follow our bone pile here. So that'll be good. I'm going to dig hard for a certain item here. Bogle Bombs is good, and normally I'd probably just buy it and leave it at that, but I want to get Birthright, which has a different, unique effect. Mr. Me's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna take Mr. Me. Uh, Birthright has a specific cool effect for each individual different character. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that works kind of jank. Yeah, I'll take this. Why not? <laughs> um, sorry. And for this character, it gives you uh, a Q, uh, a pocket item that summons the bone pile back to you. Yeah. The more this character goes, it's like, I really should have just taken the damage. But that's okay. The cool laser beam normally is extremely cool. Um, I'll just blow this up just for fun. Maybe I'll get two pennies and I can buy... I'm going to exit game because I saw some stuff that I want. If I let it re-roll again... Okay, backpack or member card? I think I'm going to go member card. Now we can see what's in here. Nothing of super use. Speedball would be kind of nice. For the, uh... Yeah. I'll buy Speedball. I got really lucky with the money that came out of the shopkeepers here. Not gonna lie. So, member card gives you, like, a second shop. And that's pretty cool. So, I probably won't explain what the items do. I'll just explain my general game plan. Now, I go back to the regular floor. Alright, sweet. So what these are, these are boss trap rooms. They only normally open if you're on exactly one HP, but you can usually get into them through other means. If the secret room happens to be next to it, for example, seems likely that the spirit... Uh, I'm trying not to pick up that bone heart, actually. I think I want to skip out on it. If the secret room happens to be next to it, you could bomb your way in it? Okay. Um... Uh, I am curious. What happens? Uh... Okay. Interesting. It controls really jankily. At least I got a cool hat. Okay, this is a range upgrade and a lock upgrade. Probably, like, literally, who cares? But, why not? I'm a... I'm not really concerned about dying or anything. Okay. Let's try to... Right, I have the whiz. It's gonna be off. The rockets that projectiled out, they're gonna be off. From where... They're gonna be to the left or right of my target. Kinda forgot about the whiz. Yeah, see how it just... Two of them shot, and they completely missed. Yeah, probably will not be using that feature too much. That is normally an extremely powerful, good item. But, one, we're Tainted Forgotten. So, like, it controls really jank in the first place. And two, um, you have to charge it. All sorts of nonsense. Leave that behind. Not interested in it. I technically have infinite bombs, though, so that's pretty cool. So, there shouldn't be... If I need to blow something up and I'm out of bombs, I will not be lacking. So, definitely not useless. Monstrous Tooth. We're getting a lot of active items that I don't really care about. 
All right, so my other general game plan, yes, I always go to Downpour Dross because, in my opinion, it is always worth it. For both the uh, Reverse Mirror Side, free boss room item, possible second shop, uh, a whole floor of consumables to presumably pick up, and the boss trap rooms only spawn on the twos. So, like, basement one, no. Basement two, yes. Caves one, no. Dross two, yes. So, staying on the twos, you're, you can get more boss trap rooms. On the ones, it's always the mob trap. So, it's just waves of enemies. And the prize that you do the room for is, like, random chests or sacks compared to the boss trap room which is an item the item in my opinion is worth more even if it's less likely that you're able to get into the boss trap room the chance of the secret room being off or you find some other way of getting in there is it's it's more worth it to me in my brain now the alt path okay someone one moment. Someone is calling me. How dare they? We are so back. Okay. Back. Right? Wait, we are back? Yes, we are back. Okay, cool. Good. Now, why is there an alternate path, you might ask, new Isaac viewer? Well, normally, the only real reason to go down that way is to collect the knife pieces, which is like a special tool that you use to gain access to a certain boss. Now, I'm not interested in that certain boss. I'm just going to go to the game's, like, regular, quote-unquote, quote quote, regular final boss. Uh, Blue Baby, which is a dead version of Isaac. Well, a lot of things in this game are just a version of Isaac or a dead version of Isaac, but notwithstanding, Blue Baby is like the... Okay, just blew myself up with Dr. Fetus. Excellent. The item room... On the mirror world contains uh, the first knife piece. I would normally have to go to, say, Mines or Ash Pit 2 to go there to get the second knife piece. However, Ash Pit and Mines are brutal. Very difficult floor, in my opinion. For where they are in the game, you're like expected power level. The hardest floors in the game. Not a fan of them. There's two advantages of doing this, though. Uh, one is to guarantee that you would not miss out on Mausoleum or Gehenna. Neither of these are worth anything to me. I'll take the compass, though. Because one of the curses in this game is Curse of the Labyrinth, which combines the one and the two. Uh, that is impossible if you hop back and forth between the standard path and the alt path. I hit the grimace. That's why I didn't go through the door. But it's not worth it in my opinion. I'd rather risk it and go to Depths 1. I got Curse of the Blind instead, so who cares? There's a library. Let's go to the library. That's a champion that makes poops. It's kind of annoying on this floor specifically. If I didn't have flight, of course. So you can completely avoid Curse of the Labyrinth if you hop back and forth between the floors just right. And guarantee that you wouldn't miss out on Mausoleum and Gehenna. Which I do go to. Because if you get Curse of the Labyrinth here, you can't go to Mausoleum and Gehenna. Well, you can, but only if you're planning on going to the Beast. And I go to Mausoleum Gehenna for a few reasons. Okay. Book of Shadows. Pretty good item. Book of Virtues. Very good item. Book of the Dead. Good item. Satanic Bible. Rather good item. Anarchist Cookbook. Now, many schools of thought here on what item to take. Maybe I should have taken Backpack instead, so I could have taken two items. Um... Huh. Hmm. 
I feel like I get Satanic Bible, like, all the time. I think I'll go Book of Virtue Shadows, is what I think I'll stick with. Every time I'm in any sort of sticky situation, we'll just pop it. I didn't think it was too likely for it to be there, but I tried. Headless Horseman is really sad and unfortunate. Okay. I didn't see that attack. This is really stupid and annoying. Because this is an item that gives me flight. But who cares? Alright. I'm going to save two soul hearts by grabbing Mr. Me and opening that door for me. Where are you, Mr. Me? You're right here, right? Oh, that's Anarchist Cookbook. You're Mr. Me. Maybe here. Could be there. Who was there? More pills. Now, what do pills do, you may ask? Well, pills... What on earth happened there? I don't know. Something strange happened. It wasn't what I expected to happen. I think the Book of Shadows Wisp opened the door before Mr. Me did? And then Mr. Me being activated, had to do, you know, something. So he grabbed the pony. Okay, sure. Oh, I hate that room. I'm glad I have flight. As you can see, flight does trivialize a thing or two about this game. All right. Pop Book of Shadows just in time to save me from taking damage. I don't know why he's just standing there not doing anything. Polycephalus, come on, step it up. Don't want that. Don't really care about it. Picking it up. Telepathy for dummies. <laughs> okay. They, we were getting a lot of active items. That was very smart and intelligent. Bad damage is basically what I'm saying. Very avoidable. That'd be greed. Really sad that it wasn't greed. Uh, okay. Um, okay. It's a very good trinket. I think I will take it. I like your trinket. I think I will take it. Um, and as for the rest of this stuff, could be good, could be bad. But I will save it. My money, that is. Until I can actually see what I'm, it is that I'm purchasing. Is that unreasonable? Does anyone find that unreasonable? Oh, my little bone friend hangs out with me. Oh, that's great news. Oh, blood clot's awesome then. Because I actually I have some defense by me. Oh. Yeah, he's both me. That's cool. That's really great. I just thought it would be like a, an, a, a bad incubus. Oh, wait, who does... Where is he gone? Oh, is he dead? He might have died. But he'll come back every room? Yep. Uh, doink. Now, why do this, you may ask? Good question, I respond. It was just one great chest, but... I don't know. I walked all the way over here. So I felt the need to, you know, get what I paid for. Okay, well, I was laziness. Judgment? Let's see what he... It's a rotten beggar. And nobody cares about that. I can use him to open this chest for me. Instead of taking damage. I also could use Book of Shadows to open it. But, don't have to. I like how the little blood clot friend, he's kind of freaking out. Because he's, he's holding two bones, so he, he's wigging out. But yeah, we'll, we'll rock this item. Okay, seeing it so off-centered kind of wild. So why go to Gehenna and Mausoleum? It's pretty rough. They're kind of tough floors. Why come here? Well, you get in a whole extra item room and shop by coming this way. You skip room one. Hmm, this is... Okay, if I point it right at me... Uh, point it... 
Well, I got one of them. I'll just use Book of Shadows. I knocked him off of his little rocking... Why, why did I say rocking chair? Obviously not a rocking chair. You got a whole extra shopping item room. You skip... Womb 1, which is a... It, one less floor where you take a full heart of damage. And it's, it's interesting and different, you know? Okay, when I charge attacks, I gotta be careful not to blow myself up. Honestly, probably shouldn't have taken Epic Fetus, if uh, being honest here. I would agree that Gehenna and Mausoleum are harder than Depths 2. That's obvious. So if you're looking for an easier floor, stick to Depths 2. But I wouldn't say that it's harder necessarily than Womb 1. You're dead. What's gonna happen? Okay. I was like, can I make the shot without hitting the teleport pad and going flying? I could. So I think it's worth it for the item room shop, especially if you can open the door for free without normally... Ow. It costs two hearts to go through that door, but if you have some way of opening it for free, like... Um, most invincibility doesn't work. But Mr. Me can open the door. If you have, like, a soul of the lost, soul of the forgotten, soul of Jacob and Esau. If you're a character that has, like, replenishable health. There's lots of ways of getting in there for free. Or you could just pay the two soul hearts if you have tons of HP. Watch this take me to the... Okay, I was like... Matchbook? Uh, sure, why not? But you can see the power of Mom's chest. If you've watched enough of these, you're like, wow. He sure... Yeah, I figured there was a hidden button to kill everyone back there. We're getting so many books, dude! Now... Cannot shoot tears. Yeah, I mean, we'll just keep with Book of Shadows, I think. Oh. <laughs> dude... Not that this run is in any kind of, like... Oh my gosh, of course. Of course! Alright, I'm taking it. Incubus is really good. Um, a little, little ridiculous. I had a 72 chance for an angel deal, and I got a devil deal anyway. But it was Incubus, so... Hard to complain about it. Does Incubus follow Bone Friend? And he also shoots rockets. I do not want matchstick. I want my blood clot friend. Because he hangs by... He's one of the few things that hangs by me. Alright, greed's fine. I... Ow. Luck up. I don't think I have anything that particularly cares about luck right now. Dead Isaac... Don't really care about dead Isaac. He would follow my the bone pile instead of the soul. Okay. Ah! Nearly ro launched a rocket into my own face. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have picked up Epic Fetus because now I it's even less likely for me to use the the laser beams that I got Montezuma's Revenge and Revelation, but. So be it. And now, of course, <laughs> we're going to get a deal with the devil. Buy a book of virtues. I can still get angel deals. That's right. It's a side effect of that item that I don't really think about a lot. Normally, if you take deals with the devil, it means you're guaranteed you can no longer get angel deals. But, there are a couple items in the game that still let you get angel deals. And this happens to be one of them. Now that cute, derpy... I have no... What? Sometimes you don't take damage from those things. And I don't really understand 
what or why? Soul of the Lost. Hmm. It's a good, interesting trinket. Okay, this is exciting. Probably means I can get into the boss trap room for free. I didn't go! I'll have to play back the footage, but I'm pretty sure that I did not go into the, uh... That's just a heart health up. I did not go into the, uh... The membership... Well, yes, I did. It was Dead Isaac. That's right. I remember. I did go into the special shop. I did go into the special shop. I didn't forget. Now, one way... Ah! I didn't even see that guy. Don't be afraid to use Book of Virtues, man. Oh, look. Probably be 2.0. Well, I was like, wow, more active items. Crazy. Ah! I wasn't expecting him to still be alive. Alright. Use the invincibility. Because this is going to get messy up in here. Ah! Yeah, we can just blow up everything in a short range. Boink. And the compass can tell us... The compass can tell us uh, where everything is. It's a, it's a generally good statement. Uh, yeah. We can quick charge our item now. So we can cheese invincibility even more. Devil deals cost coins now. We just had this item, and I didn't like it then either. We already blew that guy up. Alright, I have two choices. Grab the soul heart... That is breakfast and teleport into the boss room or simply warp back oh okay i was on top of the fire i was taking damage if i wanted to pick him back up i tried to blow up the fire with the rockets i could have just blown it up with a regular bomb too but i didn't think about that Big chest. Let's open up the big chest and get a bunch of stuff. Well, we'll hang on to the Emperor card, I think. We'll skip mm, something. This will be a little difficult. This is one boss that this okay character does kind of struggle with. Come on. Stop waiting on my invincibility, coward. Polaroid's extremely good because it will provide invincibility. This is really going to be... Yeah, it's conjoined. Yeah, let's fight the angel statue. What's the worst that can happen? Take some damage. Oh, no. I have many bones now. I tried to blow them up. Just a short range. Blow them up. It's kind of completely random. Dead cat. No. So, dead cat would give me nine lives, but it would set me all the way down to one HP. Not interested. And if you had both knife pieces, this is where you could open the door. Now, the, don't confuse the key pieces with the knife pieces. The knife pieces let you go to corpse and fight mother. The key pieces let you open the big door on the chest or dark room and fight mega satan you get the knife pieces from the alternate path downpour dross ash pit mines and you get the key pieces from finding the angel statues although there's a couple other ways to open up that big door that you don't have to fight the angel statues Such as Mr. Me, in fact. We left him behind, but Mr. Me can open up the, the Mega Satan door. Uh, by the way, this run is uh, extremely powerful, and we will not be losing. In case of you uh, couldn't figure that out. Even when we get into hairy spots, where we're having difficulty retrieving our bone pile, we can just uh, use invincibility and stop using our brain 
entirely. And that's the point where you want to get in the run, where you don't have to think anymore. Thinking is the enemy. Thinking is the mind killer. If you have to keep thinking, that means you have a weaker run <laughs> and having difficulties. I think we might be at the tears camp as this character, but it's not just a flat 5.0, so it's a little hard to tell just by glancing. The only sure way is picking up another tiers upgrade and the number doesn't go up. Ow. I picked up both of them, but I was too lazy to walk across the room to get it. Well, there's another uh, spirit art I didn't need to pick up. But so be it. Black hearts. If you pick up soul hearts um, <clears throat> and you're full, you can't pick them up. They'll just stay on the ground, right? Black hearts are technically better, so the game lets you pick those up when you're already at full, and it'll replace a spirit heart. Because they do damage to things when you lose them. So they're technically better. How am I doing as far as uh, explaining how this game works? Anyone? Everyone still confused? I've been doing a bad job. The things that you don't understand, I haven't actually been addressing at all. So you have no idea what's going on still? Good. So the Polaroid, the item that I picked up in the mom fight, means I can go to the chest if I go to Cathedral. The negative, if I go down to Sheol, would take me to the dark room. If I went down to Sheol with the Polaroid, I couldn't advance to the final floor of the run. Same if I took the negative to go this way. We want to go to Blue Baby, so we will go to the Cathedral. And here's what I think. I think I'm going to go into that curse room. And I think I'll use my Emperor card at long last. And teleport to the boss and just skip Cathedral. I have a modest... <gasps> but I... Oh, man. Alright. Judgment. What is this? Oh, it's reverse judgment. I don't care about reverse judgment. Wait. Yes, wait, is this two reverse judgment cards? Um. So, reverse judgment is extremely good. And will prevent me, because I want to bring this down to chest. Suicide King. Would not recommend using... Okay. <laughs> I... Not sure how I went flying there, but sure. Alright, don't hit Q. 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 I would literally die. I, w I would literally die. It would literally be the end of everything if I hit Q right now. Okay. Leave Suicide King there. Go on to the next room. Kill these guys. Look how many bones I got between Conjoin, the Wiz, Book Worm. There we go. I was like, I got one other thing that's giving me multiple attacks. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, picking up Dr. Fetus removed any possibility of me using the laser beam. So, no doubt earlier, the boring answer was picking up Immaculate Heart. But, I mean, come on. I'm actually ending the run with a lower damage stat, I think, than when I started it. Because of a uh, conjoin. But obviously we're not hurting for a lack of damage stat. And yeah, I don't think I have one damage upgrade in that whole list of things. Oh, good. I didn't really want the soul heart, but it doesn't... The bone heart, but it doesn't really matter that much. I can't fill it. But at this point, taking full hearts of damage, it would crack just the same as an entire spirit heart. So, as, so this is what the negative does. When you're on full soul hearts, it is a permanent Polaroid invincibility. A little more useful and common in Afterbirth Plus... Than it is here. Use the item that gives you invincibility. 
It got a little nerfed, and the situations where you find yourself on full soul hearts is less common. Or half a red heart. But it still happens enough. Am I going to walk all the way back for one soul heart? Yes, I am. Nice of you to notice that. Walking back, backtracking as this character is easier than other characters because you can yeet the bone pile through the doors. And that's faster than walking. Also, fun fact about this character. Every other character is capped at a speed of 2.0. This character, the number doesn't go up. So if I had the negative or didn't have the Polaroid at all, the game would just end right there instead of going to the final floor. Um, every other character is capped at 2.0. This character, the number doesn't go up, but it does. He still gets faster. So this is what Reverse Judgment does. It makes a, a reroll machine appear. Um, I'll take Camo Undies, I suppose. I'll take... A card, two of spades, sure. And now reroll all this. Jawbone will just confuse me. I don't want these items. Uh, how does tractor beam work with this character? It's funny enough that I'm gonna do it. Charm of the Vampire is a damage upgrade. Do I care? It's a really small damage upgrade. Uh, I'll just keep going. Rubber Cement, I don't think does anything, but it might be funny. This is Spun. That's a damage upgrade. All right, cool. How are we doing? I don't think Rubber Cement does anything. Oh, but me, oh, but, but, but. All right, be very careful. I want to kill Ultra Pride first. He might spawn Dead Cat again. Wait, that doesn't matter then. Ah, whatever, who cares. For a second I was worried. <laughs> Hang on, how fast am I zooming? I think that's more than 2.0 speed, but it's hard to tell. So the Mega Satan door opened. I don't feel like fighting Mega Satan. So instead, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna fight Blue Baby. That feels... Oh my gosh. That's Camo Undies in action right there. Bruh. Ah, bruh. Use the, use the shield. It's free in this room. Yeah, any Because of 9-volt, any 3 space active items would just be completely free in this room. Because I'll get it back at the conclusion of this room. Through the door. So on certain floors, the bosses are always the same. For like the regular old rooms, you might have noticed, you know, it's a random boss every time. The final floors of the game. I'm gonna I'm taking way too much damage, dude. Who's alive? Okay. Single fly. Tammy's head. Um uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I stuck with the shield. Also, I'm going the wrong direction. I have the compass. I could have figured that one out. Maybe I should go to Mega Satan. All right. Ah! Sometimes charging enemies get weird when they get slowed. So I just wanted to be careful. Pop up. Charging enemies get weird when they get slowed while charging. He died? I cannot believe that he died. This guy's tanky. Oh, wow. He died. Hello. Goodbye. Blah! Blah! Alright, just use it. It's free. So, yeah. When you're curious about specific items, just pause the video and look at the description. Oh, good. We took the wrong way again. Oh, good. It's Lust. Lust is dead. 
Sure, I'll take Harlequin, baby. Like, come on, this has got to be the way to go. Okay. Too many things in this room to care about not just dodging. Bloody Lust, just in time. I've taken about a million damage. There's no way I'm crossing this room, so I'm just gonna spam bombs. Eventually I'll get through, right? Maybe I'll charge with the laser beam. Oh! I didn't even see where the laser beam went. How long does it take to get a laser beam going? Okay, I know it literally can't be there for the bombs. Okay, he's at the top of the screen. So yeah, by the time it gets to me, the laser beam is charged. Uh huh. I would. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See the bombs fly by? Yeah, we're just gonna camp this room out. Okay, I can get one more guy. I cannot get one more guy. I know exactly where he is. Hop up! Yeah, he's dead. Okay, we can get by. Yeah! Didn't have to take damage in that room. See, the laser beam wasn't worthless. Just almost worthless. We have 92 cents. Alright, blue baby. So he almost died in like one hit. Maybe we'll do Mega Satan after all. I don't know. Probably not. So yeah, for all you like non-Isaac people, like you're kind of an Isaac person or you're not an Isaac person, if you got like any like, hey, how does this work? Just ask. If like, okay, you explained this about the game, but you didn't explain that about the game, could you? That'd be fine. I I'm willing to do that. Okay. Oh. Uh. I should go have breakfast. I just had coffee for breakfast because nothing sounded good. I would have forced myself to eat something if I had work. Because, you know, I'd be starving by lunchtime. But I'm just bumming around the house today. I don't got work. So when you're there taking a leisurely morning and you're like, hmm, what should I have for breakfast? Nothing sounds good? Okay, nothing sounds good. <laughs> just have some coffee. Call it there. Uh, there's probably a mod out there that turns those A's into Among Us. Alright, uh, anyway. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I should hit stop. There.